Aurelstein. Sir Mark Aurelstein, XI, Frost, FBA, Hungarian, Steinmark Aurel, November 26, 1862, October 26, 1943, was a Hungarian born British archaeologist, primarily known for his explorations and archaeological discoveries in Central Asia. He was also a professor at Indian universities. Stein was also an ethnographer, geographer, linguist and surveyor. His collection of books and manuscripts taken from Dunhuang Caves is important for the study of the history of Central Asia and the art and literature of Buddhism. He wrote several volumes on his expeditions and discoveries which include ancient Khotan, Serindia, and innermost Asia. A memorial stone on his name was erected in Mahanmarg by the people of Kashmir on September 14, 2017 at the same place where Aurel Stein used to pitch his tent. Early Life Stein was born to Nathan Stein and Anna Herschler, a Jewish couple residing in Budapest in the Kingdom of Hungary. His parents and his sister retained their Jewish faith but Stein and his brother, Ernst Edward, were baptized as Lutherans, apparently to free them from the anti-Semitism which would have denied them access to education and advancement. Dad at home the family spoke German and Hungarian, Stein was proud of this heritage for the rest of his life. He attended Catholic and Lutheran gymnasiums in Budapest, where he mastered Greek. Latin, French, and English before going on for advanced study at universities of Vienna, Leipzig, and Tübingen. He graduated in Sanskrit and Persian and received his PhD from Tübingen in 1883. In 1884 he went to England to study Oriental languages and archaeology. He became a British citizen in 1904 and made his famous expeditions with British sponsorship. In 1887 Stein went to India, where he joined the University of the Punjab as registrar. Later, between 1888 and 1899, he was the principal of Oriental College, Lahore. Stein was influenced by Sven Hedin's 1898 work through Asia. Realizing the importance of Central Asian history and archaeology he sent a proposal to the government to explore, map and study the people of Central Asia. In May 1900 he received approval to lead an expedition to Chinese Turkestan which was strategically located in High Asia where the Russians and Germans were already taking interest. Dot. Expeditions Stein made four major expeditions to Central Asia, in 1900-1901, 1906-1908, 1913-1916 and 1930. He brought to light the hidden treasure of a great civilization which by then was practically lost to the world. One of his significant finds during his first journey during 1900-1901 was the Teklamakan Desert Oasis of Dandan Oilik where he was able to uncover a number of relics. During his third expedition in 1913-1916, he excavated at Kirakoto. The British Library's Stein collection of Chinese, Tibetan and Tongut manuscripts, Prakrit wooden tablets, and documents in Khotanese, Uyghur, Sogdian and Eastern Turkic is the result of his travels through Central Asia during the 1920s and 1930s. Stein discovered manuscripts in the previously lost Okarian languages of the Tarim Basin at Maran and other oasis towns, and recorded numerous archaeological sites especially in Iran and Balochistan. When Stein visited Khotan he was able to render in Persian a portion of the Shahnama after he came across a local reading the Shahnama in Turkey. Dot. During 1901 Stein was responsible for exposing forgeries of Islamican. Stein's greatest discovery was made at the Mogao Caves also known as Caves of the Thousand Buddhas, near Dunhuang in 1907. It was there that he discovered a printed copy of the Diamond Sutra, the world's oldest printed text, dating to AD 868, along with 40,000 other scrolls, all removed by gradually winning the confidence and bribing the Taoist caretaker. He took 24 cases of manuscripts and 4 cases of paintings and relics. He was knighted for his efforts, but Chinese nationalists dubbed him a burglar and staged protests against him. His discovery inspired other French, Russian, Japanese, and Chinese treasure hunters and explorers who also took their toll on the collection. During his expedition of 1906 to 1908 while surveying in the Kunlun Mountains of western China, Stein suffered frostbite and lost several toes on his right foot. When he was resting from his extended journeys into Central Asia, he spent most of his time living in a tent in the spectacularly beautiful alpine meadow called Mahanmark which lies at the mouth atop the Zint Valley where from he translated Rajadarangani from Sanskrit to English. Stein was a lifelong bachelor, but was always accompanied by a dog named Dash, of which there were seven. The fourth expedition to Central Asia, however, ended in failure. Stein did not publish any account 
but others have written of the frustrations and rivalries between British and American interests in China, between Harvard's Fogg Museum and the British Museum, and finally, between Paul J. Sachs and Langdon Warner, the two Harvard sponsors of the expedition. Stein died in Kabul on October 26, 1943 and is buried in the British Cemetery, Kabul. Great Game Stein, as well as his rivals Sven Hedin, Sir Francis' young husband, and Nikolai Pozhevelsky, were active players in the British-Russian struggle for influence in Central Asia, the so-called Great Game. Their explorations were supported by the British and Russian empires as they filled in the remaining blank spots on the maps, providing valuable information and creating spheres of influence for archaeological exploration as they did for political influence. The art objects he collected are divided between the British Museum, the British Library, the Srinagar Museum, and the National Museum, New Delhi. Honors Stein received a number of honors during his career. In 1909, he was awarded the Founders Medal by the Royal Geographical Society for his extensive explorations in Central Asia, and in particular his archaeological work. In 1909, he was awarded the first Campbell Memorial Gold Medal by the Royal Asiatic Society of Bombay. He was awarded a number of other gold medals, the Gold Medal of the Societe de Geographie in 1923, the Grand Médaille d'Or of the Royal Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland in 1932, and the Gold Medal of the Society of Antiquaries of London in 1935. In 1934, he was awarded the Huxley Memorial Medal of Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain and Ireland. In the 1910 King's Birthday Honours, he was appointed Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire CIE, for his service as Inspector General of Education and Archaeological Surveyor in the Northwest Frontier Province. Two years later, in the 1912 King's Birthday Honours, he was promoted to Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire KCIE, for his service as Superintendent of the Archaeological Department, Northwest Frontier Circle. He was made an Honorary Doctor of Letters Lit, by the University of Oxford in 1909. He was made an Honorary Doctor of Science DSC, by the University of Cambridge in 1910. He was made an Honorary Doctor of Laws LLD, by the University of St. Andrews in 1939. In 1919, Stein became a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1921, he was elected Fellow of the British Academy FBA. Publications a more detailed list of Stein's publications is available in Handbook to the Stein Collections in the UK, pages 49-61 in the UK, 